unleashing the nature of the paradox of non-existence. In the realm of philosophical discourse, the paradox of non-existence represents a fascinating and intricate concept that challenges our understanding of reality. This video delves into an exploration of the paradox, seeking to unravel its complexities and implications. By critically analyzing various philosophical theories and arguments, we aim to shed light on the nature of non-existence and the paradoxes it presents. 1. Defining non-existence and its paradox. Non-existence refers to the state of lacking existence or being absent from reality. The paradox of non-existence arises from the notion that discussing or attributing qualities to something that does not exist might seem contradictory. How can one speak meaningfully about something that has no existence to begin with? This paradox is a subject of philosophical discourse, posing a significant challenge to our understanding of existence and language. 2. The relationship between conceptual and actual existence. One key aspect of the paradox of non-existence rests on the relationship between conceptual and actual existence. Scholars argue that concepts exist in our minds despite their lack of actual existence. For instance, mythical creatures like unicorns or dragons may not exist in the physical world, but they exist as concepts within our minds. Thus, the paradox arises when we examine the meaningfulness of discussing non-existent entities, despite their conceptual existence. 3. Paradoxes of Existential Import The paradox of non-existence is closely related to the paradoxes of existential import, such as the liar paradox. These paradoxes explore the intricate nature of self-referential statements that create logical inconsistencies. By applying similar reasoning to non-existent entities, we can generate a paradoxical situation. This further complicates the definition and understanding of non-existence. 4. The representation of non-existent objects. Philosophers such as Meinong and Russell have explored the possibility of discussing and representing non-existent objects through language. Meinong introduced the notion of so sane, arguing that we can meaningfully attribute properties to non-existent entities. Russell, on the other hand, criticized this view, proposing that sentences referring to non-existent objects are simply misleading or meaningless. Their debates offer valuable insights into the complexities surrounding the paradox of non-existence. 5. Modal ontological arguments and non-existence. Modal ontological arguments focus on the necessary existence of an entity based on its definition. Such arguments have sparked debates about whether necessary existence implies actual existence. Paradoxically, some philosophers argue that God, often perceived as an entity of necessary existence, can also possess a paradoxical non-existence in the physical world. 6. Non-existence and personal identity. The philosophical concept of personal identity also intersects with the paradox of non-existence. Questions surrounding the continuity of identity during periods of non-existence, such as sleep or unconsciousness, challenge traditional notions of existence and the self. Examining non-existence within the context of personal identity adds another layer of complexity to the paradox. 7. Non-existence and phenomenology. Phenomenology, as a philosophical approach, investigates the structures of subjective experience. Within this framework, non-existence emerges as an essential component, as we often experience periods of emptiness or absence. These states of non-existence offer unique insights into the nature of existence and consciousness. By examining the phenomenological implications of non-existence, we can deepen our understanding of the paradox. 8. Non-existence and ontology. Ontology is the branch of philosophy concerned with the nature of existence and being. The paradox of non-existence plays a pivotal role in ontological debates challenging our assumptions about what can be considered real or existent. By exploring the paradox within an ontological framework, we can critically assess the limitations of our understanding of reality. 9. Resolving the paradox of non-existence. 
Although the paradox of non-existence may seem paradoxical in nature, some philosophers have proposed potential resolutions. Radical fictionalism suggests that we can talk meaningfully about non-existent objects by simply considering them as fictional constructs. This perspective reconciles the paradox by acknowledging the value of fictional entities within human experience. In conclusion, the paradox of non-existence represents a complex and intriguing philosophical puzzle that challenges our understanding of reality, existence, language, and consciousness. Through an examination of its various dimensions, from conceptual and modal ontological perspectives to personal identity and phenomenology, we can shed light on the paradox's nature.